second of the roundup, which is probably the one I'm most excited about. I always save those for last. Uh, it is called Sheets to WP Table Live Sync. Sheets to WP Table Live Sync. Have you ever wanted to pull in a Google Sheet data and display it in WordPress? Like, embed my table, please, from this sheet, from Google Sheets. Uh, that's what this does, and it is really, really nifty. So, uh, I forgot to have the thing up. Just a minute. Let me get my table up. <clears throat> and I'll have to remember which. Yes. Okay, here's my sheet. So this is my test sheet. It is straightforward. It is just a few columns of meaningless data. Four cities, three colors, and some numbers. Okay? So it's just a basic sheet. And here's what we're going to do. <clears throat> we are going to go over here and deactivate iconize because seeing it active just reminds me of my complete failure. Um, <clears throat> sheet to WP table live sync activate. And now we have this. All right. So no thanks. Let's manage tables. So what we're going to do, uh, create table first. We are going to uh, source type, and the pro, pro version lets you do many things here, like just a CSV file, flat file, or Excel file. It's going to be a Google Sheet. Now, here's the, the important thing, okay? This, like, I wanted this plugin to work so bad, I persisted, and it actually took me watching one of their YouTube videos to see why. It's not apparent that you need to do this. So... Follow my example, please. First, you go, and I don't know why you have to do this, but you do. First, you, you've developed your sheet. Go to File, Publish to the Web, and publish it um, just like this. And I've already done it, so, but it, uh, yeah, it says Publish. You'd click the Publish button right there. First, Publish to the Web. Then, click Shared, and make sure that the link is set to anyone on the internet can view and then copy that link, okay? So first you publish, then you share, get the link, make sure that it's changed to anyone on the internet with the link can view. Then you paste it in here. If you don't do this, it's gonna go, I can't connect to the table. And it gives you really ugly errors. So don't do that. Now I click fetch data and whammo. So it looks like there's a 20 row limit for the free version. But here's our sheet. It's got a drop down. It's got search. Okay, so we're just going to leave this as is. I'm going to save the table. And look, I get a short code. There's my short code. I have copied it. I'm now going to jump over to another page, edit it. Convert to blocks because I'm brave today. Okay, now we are going to... Add a short code. Oops. Paste the short code. Now I'm going to put that at the top of the page. Update. View page. Now. Okay, I've got some styling issues here, but watch this. If I want to search for Chicago, look at that live search. If I want everything with 4,000, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So you can sort, by the way, here as well. It's all live. And if we go in here and we add another link uh, for, let's say, Orlando, uh, I think that's going to live update it. Yep, look at that. Isn't that nifty? So it live pulls it in. Uh, let's see. Girl who can type is Google Sheets free to use? Yep, if you have a Google account, you can use Google Sheets. Just set up a Gmail account. 
Christine, what if you do colored fonts? I have no idea. Let